All right, Jason. Yep, more space. I know. I feel like every day we're talking about something that's happening in the sky. I know. Well, there's <laughs> nothing going on really in the forecast besides the cold weather tonight. So uh, for the next couple of days. But there's uh, a super moon. There is a super <laughs> moon. So uh, we're turning into astronomers instead of meteorologists. So uh, tonight is the super moon. It's going to be at its fullest right around sunrise tomorrow morning. But if you want to go view it, basically going to be as full as it's going to get tonight. Uh, moonrise is going to be uh, very shortly, about an hour away, 5.34 p.m. It's going to set at 7.06, uh, and then it's about 14% brighter than the average full moon that we see. So pretty cool stuff, and this is the biggest moon that we're going to see all year long. Now, uh, we will have some minor impacts. If you remember last month with our super moon, uh, it kind of coincided with, uh, it causes those higher than normal tides, and then coincided with the storm that was offshore. Same exact thing. Mark was just talking about that storm system sitting to our south over the next couple of days could churn up the oceans just a little bit. And uh, we do have a uh, breezy conditions in place. I think it's going to be a little bit more of some flooding across eastern Massachusetts than actual Rhode Island and Narragansett Bay just because of the wind direction itself kind of pushing that water offshore. But it still could be some splash over in Narragansett and down on Newport. So that's something to be watching out for. But otherwise, send the pictures to chime in of the moon tonight should be absolutely beautiful. Just make sure you're wearing the jacket because it's going to be cold. Yeah, it's going to be chilly out there. But another thing to look forward to happening in the sky. Exactly. All right, Jason. Thank you.